Hi everyone, it's Plant Mama Tatiana and today I'm going to be reacting to viral plant hack videos. I get these videos on my social media feeds all the time and I am entranced with them. So I have compiled a couple of them. I haven't seen them in a while. I just hit screen record when I saw these videos come up and bookmark them and save them so I could watch them with you all together and give you my live reaction. So a lot of these videos I saw on my Facebook feed and they're videos like five minute crafts or whatever, all these other random DIY plant hack videos and they either are a full video just about plant hacks or a little section from a general hack video that also involves plants. Let's just get started on video number one. Okay, so this looks like a how to grow lovely house plants from your leftovers video. So that's actually pretty cool. I do this a lot. I grow plants from the seed, so this isn't that ridiculous. So this is showing how to grow papaya from the seed. I actually don't really like papaya, the fruit. That might be a controversial opinion, but I also love growing this. So I think this is a solid hack. You can grow plants from the seeds. I don't think it will happen that quickly though, unfortunately. Um, it probably will take you a very, very long time before you ever get a sweet potato to grow. But the actual plant itself, you can definitely grow after a few years, I'm sure, to get it to be that big. So this is a sweet potato now. This definitely works. I have grown sweet potatoes before from an old sweet potato thing. Um, I have never done it like this where you're just growing it in a jug that's hanging in midair. Um, I don't think that is super likely, but you could definitely do that. You could definitely get it to vine and be cute. This one is about the oranges now. Um, yeah, I mean, all of these will work. The thing about growing plants from the seed though is that you'll probably won't get fruit from it for a very, very, very long time. So if you're cool with that and just getting a plant, then that's awesome. But yeah, you will not be getting this fruit indoors after like five minutes, you really won't. So now we have cherry tomatoes. Collecting the seeds. I've actually grown tomatoes from the seeds just like this before as well. My mom's in her garden are all from seeds just like this. I haven't done cherry tomatoes, but I imagine that this will work. So very similar. It will just take you a long time. And honestly, you'll need a lot of light. I don't think you'll be able to do this indoors really. Maybe if you have a really bright sunny window, but you know, that is what it is. I've never done beets before. I love beets, so I might have to give this a try. Ooh, the beets are pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna say that this video overall is pretty good. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. You can grow a lot of plants out of kitchen scraps or out of seeds. It's just going to take you a very long time to ever get that plant to fruit or to grow vegetables, and you probably need six to eight hours of light on a lot of these plants to actually get them to grow like this. So I don't think growing them in your bedroom or somewhere without a lot of light is really gonna work. But if you have a patio or a garden, this will definitely work for you if you have a lot of time. So I've had enough of this video. I've had enough of the sped up growing. I don't think it will be that fast. And with the rosemary, again, I think you can propagate the rosemary and the rosemary you definitely will need a lot of sunlight for. So that is that video. I feel pretty good so far. Let's go on to the next video. So this is 14 helpful hacks that you've got to try around the house. Okay, so they pulled out some mayo and they're rubbing the mayo all over the plant. It says helps plant receive sunlight and photosynthesize. Um, you know, I respect a hack. I really do. I love a hack. I am not rubbing mayonnaise all over my plant leaves. I'm just not doing it. I'm sorry. I think the idea of this hack is to clean your leaves, which is good to remove dust, dirt, grime off of your leaves to help them photosynthesize so they directly will get that sunlight on their leaves. Um, but I think you can do that with, you know, a microfiber cloth, rub it, dust it off, a little soap, a little water. Um, maybe a little neem oil in there, a little oil solution, whatever you want to use. I don't think mayonnaise is necessary for this hack. I don't know if there's an added benefit in the mayonnaise. I think that's just really gross and it's going to get funky. That's just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know if you've tried the mayo hack. I'm, I honestly need to do a video where I try all these hacks because that would be kind of fun. But let's just move on from that one. That one is a little jarring. 
I feel a little jarred from that one, honestly. On to the next video. So this is easy gardening tips to make any plant grow. And we've got an ice cream cone with dirt in it at this point. And they're pouring water into the dirt and all of a sudden a seed is growing. Um, again, I feel like you could do this, grow seeds, without the ice cream cone. I don't really know why the ice cream cone is necessary. They're already putting it in soil. I don't know if it's supposed to be about like the sugar or something like that. Just use fertilizer. Honestly, I don't know why you would do this. Um, I don't know who still has ice cream cones. I personally don't buy them, although I am craving ice cream now. But yeah, I had to like rewind to rewatch this one again because I was just like overwhelmed by why you would do this. But yeah, I'm sure there's a reason. I don't see why. Just put it in the soil directly. The seed will grow. Okay, so now this is some problem with like ants. If you have ants crawling all over your stuff, luckily I don't have an ant problem with my house plants. Um, but it's using some sort of fly trap sticky thing and wrapping it around your plant stem and just sticking it on there and all of a sudden, ah, the ants are stuck, the ants are stuck. Okay, sure, I guess that could work. I don't have that problem. This is using now a straw to mend and repair a broken plant. Okay, that will never work. I have to pause this. I have to pause this to say that won't work because at that point of what they were showing, the plant was already broken like the structure of the cells was already gone that straw just because you're holding it up isn't necessarily like it might make it survive a little bit longer because it won't break more by gravity but at that point i would just cut off that broken leaf it's going to do you much better the plant can focus its energy on new growth on new leaves um, I definitely have tried something like that before, not with a straw, I'd be interested to try it, but to kind of keep a leaf together when it was like my last leaf. I think if it's your last one or two leaves and you're like, uh, I need this to survive as long as possible so it can photosynthesize and create new growth, maybe something like that would be interesting to try to keep it together as long as possible. But long term, I don't think it's going to help you. If you have tons of other leaves on the plant, just move on, let it go. So this one is using a broken jar, broken bottle to plant succulents in. This is kind of cute actually. I think it's pretty. And to do a little bit of a succulent thing, it doesn't look like this has a lot of drainage, so would want to watch that for something like succulents, but it might be cute. So now this is using a balloon and some sort of a hose. Okay, to use a hose in your kitchen. So you can attach the hose and water, okay. So for orchids, it's true you don't want to get those orchids wet and get the leaves wet. So yeah, that is a pretty good hack for watering them. I wouldn't call it a hack, it's just like bottom watering. Now we're looking at hanging plants in crocs. Okay, I have to pause again. I have to pause again to react to that. <sighs> sure. If you have a spare pair of crocs or three in that video and you want to create a cute hanging planter out of crocs. It has drainage in it, some dirt. I mean, those holes are big, like dirt's gonna fall out. Sure, I'm sure it works, but I don't know who is styling their home with crocs. I don't know who is doing that. No hate if this is something that you think is cute and you wanna try. I don't own a pair of crocs. I'm not going to buy a pair of crocs to make it into a planter. That's not my personal style. That's all I have to say. Maybe if you spray painted them or something, you had an old pair of Crocs, you spray painted them to a neutral color, you could do something like that outside. Maybe like outside would be like cute, quirky patio decor, but I would never hang a pair of Crocs shoes on my wall inside with a plant in it. Yeah, I, like I don't know what else to say. No hate to the Croc lovers, but it's not for me. It's really not for me. On to the next video. This is, I miss what was happening here. This is like coffee grounds or something and they're planting something with the coffee grounds and all of a sudden something magically appeared. Okay, so this is like a hack about coffee grounds. There are some benefits to coffee grounds. I would say it's more useful if you have a garden outside. I wouldn't recommend putting coffee grounds into your plants indoors just because they can get really moldy and really fungusy and it takes a lot of time for that to actually break down and also coffee grounds are very acidic they use coffee grounds so it does have some useful elements in it i can't remember what right now it's i'm 
blanking. I know my mom has done it in her garden before, but she recommends it only for the flowers because it is very acidic. Acidic, acidic, acidic. So keep that in mind. A lot of houseplants don't really like acidity. Maybe more flowers do, like hydrangeas or something like that. Um, would like a more acidic fertilizer. But yeah, it's like supposed to be a substitute organic fertilizer. Yeah, sure. It can work, but it can also not work. So be careful. Okay, so I thought I had more videos in here, but maybe I never put them on my phone and they're on my laptop, whatever. This feels like a long enough video, so let's call it a day. I can do a part two to this video if I find more hack videos, which I'm sure I will. I personally love DIY videos. I love plant hack videos. I totally think they're fun. This is just my personal opinion and this is just supposed to be for fun. So in summer, you can definitely grow plants out of your kitchen scraps. I totally recommend it. I have done that with pepper seeds. I have done it with tomato seeds. I have done it with all sorts of plants. It totally works. Save your seeds, save your cuttings, save your scraps. You can grow things, but I just recommend that you do it somewhere that's super sunny and you have to be patient. It will take a long time for those plants to actually produce fruit or vegetables or flowers, whatever it is. And you're going to need a lot of sunlight and you're going to need a lot of space. So if you have a big space Place to put them maybe in a garden or a patio that will definitely work for you if you just want to enjoy the little cute greens that the plants produce you could probably do it inside but definitely on a sunny windowsill in terms of these weird random hacks for using like mayo on food or um, putting your plants in crocs personally not for me definitely try it let me know what you all think I think it's a little random and weird and crazy but I am sure there's a reason for it and I think I need to do a video where I try them out and actually review the hacks because that would be really fun thank you all so much for watching this video I hope you had as much fun as I did let me know what you think of these hacks and please if you ever see any fun hack videos send them my way I love to watch them and I'd love to review them for you thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video bye That video is so